What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway. And all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. The winner does get to choose from five sneakers. And if you want to know what five sneakers those are, I will also leave a link to that video in my description as well. But if you don't care and just want a free pair of sneakers, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and my other channel. By the way, this video might be one of those videos where my face gets really oily and really sweaty because it is hot as f*** out here. Anyways, let's get on with the video. I know I've done a video like this in the past, but I did want to do it again on the same sneaker but the only difference is that now this shoe is basically destroyed. As you guys can see, this shoe, look at the boost. It's completely dirty. It's almost black. Well, it is black on some spots. But for the most part, you don't see any white on this except maybe right there. And then even the cage has paint on it because I did take these to Life in Color. If you guys aren't familiar with what that is, it's a music festival where they just throw paint everywhere. It even got on the freaking laces, on the toe. Look, at, this is just, this is terrible. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Jesus Christ. I destroyed these shoes. Freaking $200 shoes. It's basically, I just threw $200 away. But whatever. You need to have some good beaters. You hear that? Damn. I think it's time for some new Ultra Boost. I'm getting dirt everywhere. All in this water, too, but whatever. I'll call it a crep challenge since we're basically putting crep to the ultimate test with this sneaker. This sneaker did get destroyed on Saturday, and now it is Thursday. If I'm not mistaken, that's Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's five days that's been sitting, like all this dirt and paint. Let's see how this baby puts up to it. If you guys aren't familiar with Crep, it is a cleaning product, and it's supposed to be one of the best in the market right now. Actually, it is the best in the market right now. And I haven't really done reviews on any other products just because this one had such great results on the pastures that I've cleaned, and I just might as well stick with it. But I haven't done anything like this. Well, anyways, if you're taking this video as a how-to, what you need is a pair of beat-ass shoes, some paper towels, a bowl with water filled a quarter of the way. You really don't need a lot. I can't really show you because it's clear and it's dirty now, but it doesn't really matter. It just has a little spice of dirt in there. And also what you need is your crep cure package. So what you want to do, open it up, get out your cleaner, pop the top, drop top, raindrop, pop top, drop top, I don't know. You want to put some in there, a good amount. Oh, you can see it beating. Whatever, once you see bubbles, I guess it, I guess you're good. I don't know, just put a good amount in there. Doesn't really matter. What you're really going to need is to put it on the brush. Hands. I mean, you can use a towel if you want, but that's why I have the paper towels to dry it off after, but whatever. A towel, I'm not really going to use. I'd rather use paper towels because I can actually see the dirt coming off. So after you mix your cleaning product with the water, you want to go ahead and tell the camera, I'm not sponsored by crap at all. I'm just doing this to show you guys. That's, that's all you gotta say. And now, before we start cleaning the shoe, I do wanna tell you guys that I'm wearing this rag ass clothes so I don't get any nice clothes dirty. Shout out Western. Even though this isn't 2015, it's 2014. Graduated 2015, by the way, guys. Where are all my 2015 graduates at? All right. Now you start out by taking off the laces. And just set those aside, because you will clean those later. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Yo, boy, got the snowflake, the confetti. I'm gonna keep that. So once you get your shoelaces off, you do want to start off by dipping your brush in the in the water. Or actually kind of like move it around so you get the soap and water mixture all mixed up pretty well. Shake that extra water off. And then you also want to go ahead and put the cleaning product on the brush. Put a good amount. You do want, especially if it's this dirty, you want to put a good amount. We'll just cap that, put that aside. And then we'll move these paper towels on the floor for now. Move the bowl over and get to scrubbing. But you want to scrub really gently. You want just the tips of the bristles to touch the shoe. You don't want to push hard because then, remember, you're dealing with prime knit. The prime knit will begin to rip. And wow, that's crazy. I ripped the cage off of the shoe. I just realized that. It's supposed to be stitched right here, and it ripped off. But anyways, let's get to scrubbing. So once you got this as well as your girlfriend, you know, all you want to do is just grab your paper towels and then dry it up. And then, by the way, if you want to clean the bottom, that's optional up to you. I mean, there's no point because I'm going to wear these again. And these are about to be destroyed because as you can see, they have no more like 
of these little tits on the bottom of the toe. Alright, so this is the final product of the shoe. As you can see, it still has some dark spots on the boost, but the uppers are 100% clean, as you guys can see. This thing does a great job. Crep is really good. And compared to the other shoe, that's pretty damn good. Look at that. Thumbnail alert. This is the before. God damn, these are beat. Look at that boot, look how dirty it is. And the after. The boost is a lot wider, but since the boost is old and it has been already like in dirt and it's been through a lot, it is already yellow and that's pretty much just staying in there. Look at the uppers, 100% clean, no paint in the cage, no paint to scratches from I don't know what. And it smells good. So as you guys can see, Klep is a reliable cleaning product. It does get the job done, more than my expectations at least. It actually did a great job. I still have to clean the laces, but I'm pretty sure it'll take it out with no problem. And honestly, this shoe just looks like I wear it every day. At this point, it doesn't look really like a beater, but before, obviously, this looks like a beater, but it's just crazy how much this cleaned off. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by SneakerCon for Lauderdale, which is in nine days so that's coming really soon that means i need like 1500 subscribers in nine days can we do it guys it all depends on you guys that are watching you guys have to hit the subscribe button and help me get there and if we do hit 5000 subscribers i will be doing a surprise for you guys that watch the channel but before i go i do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is daniel parcero i'm assuming you're colombian just by your name big shout out to you i see your name in the comments pop up a few times so i was like bam why not anyways Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker sign out. Peace.